Good morning, Sheik Squad. Hi. We're going to reduce her down to the hand. It's the hand. Good morning. It's Thursday, January 8th. January 8th. Quick check in this morning. On the way to work as usual. It's the silence for me. It's the silence. But bye. Have a good day. Bye, mother. So nice. Bless in the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless in the name of Jesus. Cover, lead, protect it from hurt, harm, and danger. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't be late. I pray for you to be on time. Thank you. All right. Taking my uh, vitamins and stuff this morning. All right, yeah, I was just doing a quick check-in before I get into work. But, um, I'll check back with y'all later today, Thursday, and see what this day holds. Um, yesterday we had a successful, I didn't check in. Um, yesterday we had a successful rehearsal for at least the one major part of the Black History Month program. And what we did was amazing. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it all in your chest, in your head. It's, I'm, ha I'm actually happy on how it's starting to turn out. So. But um, today is Thursday. So I want you to take a moment today and think. I call it Thinking Thursday. Think about something deep. Take a moment and think of something really intellectual that really makes you go, hmm. Mm. Oh, look, y'all, look at my glasses, y'all. See, I can't even focus. I can't even think. Um, another pair of my uh, TikTok shop glasses. Fire, fire. I got glasses for each day of the week, yo. But, um, yeah, take a moment and just, you know, sometimes we mindlessly scroll on our phones in the morning mindlessly watch videos or listen to certain things and sometimes a lot of this stuff let's face it, a lot of this stuff just ridiculous just makes no sense whatsoever but society so jacked up you try to look for anything to help you cope but as my bishop roger kennings would say uh i think it's and all you're getting can't can't and all you're getting And now you're, yeah, no, forget it. But it's got to do, and all you're getting can, yep, all of that. <laughs> and now you're getting, get an understanding. But, but um, all right, and that note, I'm about to uh, roll out. I'll see y'all later. I'll check in. Peace out, Sheik Squad 1. Not me taking my vitamins in the car. I forgot to take them this morning. I really did. I'm about to show y'all which ones I take. I'm just trying not to drop the whole thing. Um, I take these. Take those. I'm actually going to go to uh, Feel Right Store, which is a store here. Um, actually, in person, New York. Um, and I'm gonna get some real, like real natural stuff. I don't wanna be putting all this other foolishness in me, but in the meantime, I'm gonna make it do what it do. Take this. I got this from CBS B12. I had to start taking these when I found out all my dang on blood was leaving my black body and didn't even know it. But, um, 
once I started taking the iron and stuff, it just got real. Being in your 40s, you get real. Don't play. Don't play with them 40s. Okay? Don't play with them 40s. Because now you're at that point, that capacity where you shouldn't care about what anybody else say because you're too busy trying to make sure your knees don't lock up on you. Well, who care about what people say if you can't get over there to them and, and choke them for saying what they said? I mean, that's a problem. So, worry about your vitamins and your bones and the calcium and all of that other stuff. So, if you need to choke a chick, which I do not condone, that is frowned upon. But I mean, if somebody getting your personal space, you know, that's what you do. But anyway, back to where I was supposed to be going. Then I take the chelated iron pills. And the chelated iron pills are good where it won't mess with your stomach if you don't, if you have an empty stomach. It has like a little coating on it that doesn't mess with it. And I did get these from Feel Right. They were expensive. I think they were like mm, $22, I think. But now that I've switched up from the ones that I was prescribed at the hospital, I see a difference. And I was getting side effects from uh, that set they gave me. I'm going to have to um, look and see. But um, this low iron foolishness is, is real. I had no idea on what the goings on was inside my body and the blood, the red blood cells and all of that. But I just wanted to show you all the vitamins and stuff I'm taking. But it does help. I take two B12 ones. They're really small. Really small. I can't. I'm not a person that takes pills. I'm not a person that takes pills. It's just not. A pill too big is a wrap. Either I'm cutting it in half or I'm chucking it. But all right. For real this time. Peace out, she squad one. Not me taking my vitamins in the car. I forgot to take them this morning. I really did. I'm about to show y'all which ones I take. I'm just trying not to drop the whole thing. Um, I take these. Take those. I'm actually going to go to uh, Phil Wright store, which is a store here. I'm actually in person, New York. Um, and I'm gonna get some real, like real natural stuff. I don't want to be putting all this other foolishness in me, but in the meantime, I'm make it do what it do. Take this. I got this from CBS B12. I had to start taking these when I found out all my dang on blood was leaving my black body. Didn't even know it. But um, once I started taking the iron and stuff, it just got real. Being in your 40s, you get real. Don't play. Don't play with them 40s. Okay? Don't play with them 40s. Because now you're at that point, that capacity where you shouldn't care about what anybody else say because you're too busy trying to make sure your knees don't lock up on you. <laughs> so, uh, who care about what people say if you can't get over there to them and, and choke them for saying what they said? <laughs> I mean, that's a problem. So, Worry about your vitamins and your bones and the calcium and all of that other stuff. So if you need to choke a chick, which I do not condone, that is frowned upon. But I mean, if somebody getting your personal space, you know, that's what you do. But anyway, back to where I was supposed to be going. Then I take the chelated iron pills. And the chelated iron pills are good where it won't mess with your stomach if you don't if you have an empty stomach it has like a little coating on it that doesn't mess with it and i did get these from feel right they were expensive i think they were like mm, 22 dollars i think but 
now that I've switched up from the ones that I was prescribed at the hospital, I see a difference. And I was getting side effects from uh, that set they gave me. I'm gonna have to um, look and see. But um, this low iron foolishness is is real. I had no idea on what the goings on was inside my body and the blood the red blood cells and all of that but i just wanted to show y'all the vitamins and stuff i'm taking but it does help i take two b12 ones they're really small really small i can't i'm not a person that takes pills i'm not a person that takes pills it's just not a pill too big is a wrap either i'm cutting it in half or I'm chucking it. But. Alright. For real this time. Peace out, Sheep Squad. One. What's up, Sheep Squad? It's your girl, Miss Yosis. She in the building. Y'all like my sweatshirt? Fire, ain't it? Well, I'm just here trying to get my life. That's all I'm trying to do. Get my life this morning on this Thursday. So, I just want to say what's up with y'all real quick. Doing a few things, signed in, getting myself together. But, um, y'all have a wonderful Thursday, y'all here? Peace out, squad one. Good Friday morning. Good Friday morning. What's up? It's your girl, Yo Sis Chic. Here on this Good Friday. Well, it's not Good Friday, but it's a wonderful Friday morning. A little dewy, a little warmer. I think it's just around the bend. Good temperatures is coming just around the bend. Well, what's up, Chic Squad? How y'all doing? We done made it through the week. Done made it through the week. Yes, we have done made it through the week. Of course, you know, I'm on my way to work. Um, last night was very nice. We had um, Thursday nights is my date night. Um, you'll be seeing a short mini vlog on how that went. It was actually, this time it was a surprise. I just expected to be at home chilling, which I don't mind because the older I've gotten, I've become a homebody. And then after a day of working with a bunch of children and just adults, period. Sometimes you just want to get in the bed and just roll up. And my coworker said <laughs> yesterday, she just want to go home and curl up in the fetal position in the bed. And I felt all of that energy. That, like, that was the vibe I was going for. But, surprise! My Reese cup was like, hey, we got to go somewhere. I'm sharing them real quick. Me, the wife that I am. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Dude, I was taught, hey, uh, quick marriage tip. I know some women, some wives, like, mm, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Why he always want to do this, do that? You better do what he asked or what he want to do because there's going to be times he's not going to want to do it. And then you're going to be complaining about why he don't never take me out. Why he don't never do this. Why he don't never do that. Y'all, women, sometimes you just can't. Ain't no pleasing, y'all. Ain't. There's. Ain't. Sorry. There's no pleasing, y'all. I said all that to say. Anytime my Reese Cup say, let's go do something. I'm out unless I'm really, really not feeling up to it. Like, I have to be definitely just ready to go to the ER for me not to want to go eat, go hang out, or whatever. Anytime he asks, he want to go to breakfast for the moment. Yes, sir. We out driving, and, I'm, and we done finished grocery shopping on our way home. I got my mentality to go put the, the groceries away. If you're like, you know what, let's go eat here. Yep, all right, let's go. Cause you know, <laughs> you know, black folks, you go get a trunk full of groceries, then go get takeout or go out and eat. 
I guess. But, um, yeah, so that was a complete surprise for date night. He said, I just wanted to surprise you and take you out for date night, something different. And, um, it was a very nice restaurant. It was called Inchin's Bamboo Cuisine. I think it was um, Chinese and Thai uh, restaurant. Very nice in Williamsville, New York. Very nice, like we're hooked. We're hooked. That was our first time. And I stepped outside my box again. Um, it has some spicy, spicy mango chicken and it was good, y'all. It was good. Um. And then we went to, I think, Half Baked, where they give you these cookies, them cookies. I put it in the, the vlog as well. But them cookies is jimongous. Here, I got one. I'll show you. Oh, no, nope, that's not it. Um, the cookies were ginormous. Like, really ginormous. Look how big this cookie is. Look, look how thick that cookie is. Listen. I, oh my God. It's like a cookie cake. Good God. Good God. Old fashioned peanut butter cookie. It was delicious. So I got me two of those. And I said I would save one for my lunch. But, um, yeah. So, look. Hopefully, um, after this video. The uh, date night video will be posted up so you can kind of see um, the restaurant I'm talking about an experience we had. The ambiance was great. And oh, happy Chinese New Year. And I say that because at our table yesterday, the Chinese um, zodiac signs were on the table. And I don't do like the zodiac signs. I used to. That used to be a thing. I do sometimes. I don't know. I'm not basing my life upon that because Jesus controls everything. He controls my characteristics, my faces, my mouth, and my attitude. But um, just reading it, I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, they are in my business. And I mean, each and every one of us in my family. I was like, uh-oh, they is all in my business. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that was a sidebar. But, um, uh, anyway, I'm about to go ahead into this building and get right with the little chillings and, um, get this Friday over with. There will be no popcorn today, okay? Because I can't. But, um, I'll check back with you later, Sheet Squad 1. Oh well, my body messed up. <laughs> Got to stay home. I keep telling her. Oh, she got that reason so she was going to hang with her parents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Such a nice day, night. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Spicy mango chicken. Got Singapore noodles, mango chicken.
OMG. Today. Um, today was today. Okay. I am finished with my work day. But today was day. Okay. Okay. All that chipperness and stuff this morning. The atmosphere has shifted, okay? I just don't want to be near no children's or adults in that matter right now. But okay. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Yosef Chic. I hear on this wonderful Friday, I think it's like almost 60 something degrees outside, finally tell because my head feel like it's about to bust wide open. So, mm, all right here. Mm. But um, anyway, made it through another week. I got one more week to go before I have to uh, <clears throat> have our vacation, and I'm excited about it. Definitely excited about it. Very excited. Some of the children's. Some of the children's at the playgrounds. But, um. I'm glad. I'm just excited. On my way home. It's the weekend. I can de-stress. And put some loose ends together for this program for next week. And quit being micromanaged for everything. But that's neither here nor there um but i'm just making sure i got all my i's dotted and all my t's crossed and then i'm washing my hands of it completely okay okay um but i'm gonna head to the gym i'll probably take y'all with me to the gym real quick but i think i want to i just need to zone out a little bit on the bike um and ride my day away. <sighs> Get rid of it. And move on. But um, I'll pick up back with you guys once I get to the gym later. Alright. Peace out, She Squad 1. <laughs> Alright, you cook lamb. So I know I'm watching it. <laughs> 